after playing through 64, Melee, Brawl, 3DS, and Wii U, it's all come down to this. The Ultimate Smash Experience. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Miraculous is a term that this game has transcended. The amount of dreams that this game has made come true. The amount of wishes granted. It deserves its own wing in the Video Game Hall of Fame. You need look no further than the classic mode. The sheer amount of characters on this screen bearing Echo Fighters in mind, bearing the Fighter Pass in mind, is 83 playable characters. Simply mind-bending. As you can see, every character in Classic Mode has their own exclusive route. No two characters walk the same path, which is, you know, honestly how it should be. I haven't even completed every classic mode. That's how insane this is. But I do know one that I've completed and one I am familiar with. So we're taking this path as Ryu and... Actually... Something's not right here. Hold on a sec. Let me... Go back really quick. We got something to change up. This music's great and all, but... That's what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't get any more classic than that. Okay, Ryu. You ready to walk the path of a warrior with me? So, intensity only goes as high as 5.0 at the start. Depending on your performance in each fight, the intensity increases by that amount. And that's how you get to your 9.9s. But we're just gonna lay right here in 3.0 intensity. Classic tickets help you get more rewards, but... Yeah, don't even tempt me. Ready? So, Go! the neat thing about Ryu is that he is always facing his opponent in one-on-one -on -one matches. Usually. If he's close enough. But, yeah. If you're paying attention down at the bottom of your screen... You'll notice that we don't have the typical damage percentages here. We have HP. Uh, almost a perfect. Your job is stamina mode. Every match with Ryu is a one-on-one -on -one affair in stamina mode. How sick is that? Through Ryu's journey, he will be fighting characters that exhibit behaviors more or less similar to their appropriate analog. I just, just can't fathom. Can't fathom playing Street Fighter this hard. And that's a perfect. You get a little extra bonus points if you aren't touched during the fight, which is appropriate because Street Fighter. Ready? Go! Ah, this is your 
Zangief hybrid. Makes sense. Lariats and headbutts, grapples. I gotta be careful with those tatsus. Heavy kicking you through Lariat. So, the neat thing about Ryu. Nice action there. The neat thing about playing as Ryu is actually we'll wait until we get into another fight to show it. You could just press the B button, or whatever your special button is, and get Hadoukens. Like, up special? You're sure you can. That's all cool. Your focus attack. Ryu is based off of his Street Fighter 4 self. If you do the input of that motion, you end up getting a more powerful version of each special move. You kind of have to watch your motions so that you can tell apart a fireball from a Tatsu. But the results are worth every mashed control stick. So now you get a bonus game unlike any other. It's up to Ryu to platform his way to all of these objects and live. Because that wall, that ain't going away. We don't have time to slow down and collect it all. We gotta get moving. Complete. Not bad. And thus we fight the three kings. Yeah, there's no Sagat analog here, but you do get Balrog, played by Little Mac. I don't know, I think it works. Lots of straight punches. Charging up his turn punch. Which, yeah, that hurts a lot. I prefer not to get hit by it if I can help it. That is like 50, 60 HP on its own. The funny thing is that if Ryu does a fireball when a fireball's on screen, it's a Hado faint. Now there's something carried over. And now we get Meta Knight, aka Vega. It kind of works. His claw dives are measured by his air sword play. I can see what they were doing. Gotta watch it. I prefer not to lose here. If you don't mind. And music. Okay. The teleport's supposed to be his backflip. <laughs> Except not as invincible. So now we get to the final boss. Master Hand and Crazy Hand. 
but we're gonna have a little help in this endeavor. Dramatic battle, anyone? This fight is especially rough. Master Hand and Crazy Hand have new behaviors that they have never brought out before. But they can also get stunned really easy. Help me out, Ken. Don't die on me. As a last resort, they can even shorten the screen. But! Ain't gonna bother me one bit. Not bad. But that is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Credit screen? Drastically different from the one before. Now you play a shoot 'em up. You can rapid fire to destroy as many credits as possible. You see an object on screen, blast it, destroy it. Especially the red cones, because if they touch you, they'll on you for about a second or two, and every second counts here. As you can see on the bottom of the screen, the more credits we destroy, the more presents we receive. That's pretty much what it comes down to. The game will switch from a vertical shooter to a horizontal shooter to a diagonal shooter. You gotta make that adjustment. Speaking of making that adjustment, that's what this game had to do. When the new Smash Brothers game was revealed for Nintendo Switch, people didn't know what to think it was going to be. Was it just going to be Smash 4 for Switch? If it was a brand new game, would they have to start from scratch? Neither outcome occurred. The mandate from Sakurai and his team that every fighter that is or ever was playable in Smash Brothers had to be included here. This game is the game. It is practically a celebration of pretty much all video games. Just the sheer selection of characters available, not just Nintendo All-Stars, characters from Sega games, Capcom games, Konami games, games from Square Enix, games using technically licensed Disney characters. Games technically licensed courtesy of Microsoft. Oh, if only PlayStation had played nice and didn't screw the pooch with PlayStation All-Stars. I'd like to say that's a story for another day, but it really isn't. So Smash Ultimate is a bar that I don't envy the developer that has to follow up on it. This game is truly ultimate, in every sense of the word. And so ends our journey through every Smash Brothers game. Oh boy. Don't know what else to say here, just... Yeah, don't. <laughs> this, game is, this game's too good. It's it's not worth words. It's worth actions. Final results.